What's up everybody, D-Man back, welcome to a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing another Anime Mad Suri video, because I'm like sitting here, you know, a few days away from heading out to Chicago to go to G-Fest, so I'm like, I should probably get those Anime Mad Suri videos done, don't you think? I do. Oof, it hurts man, it hurts watching that, it feel like I let my younger self down, oh, this is definitely not coming out before G-Fest or around G-Fest, we're about half a year away from G-Fest, it's in the past, it's in the past. It's your fault though, young D-Man, you're the one who decided to prioritize news and discussion videos over this. Can't blame that on me, because at least I'm actually getting to it. Yeah, my hair's all messy because I just got out of the shower at 12.32 in the afternoon. <laughs> So we're gonna do another Anime Matsuri video. Unlike the last one, this isn't gonna be a day-by-day -day breakdown of what happened when I was there. This is gonna be fully focused on the Godzilla store. And it's not gonna be the only video I do on the Godzilla store. They've had me film a slightly more official video for the Godzilla store that I will upload later once I get that all put together. But at the moment, it's like, this is what we're working with. This is my vlog version of it. This is the unformal version. So the Godzilla store is gonna be the focus of this video. There's gonna be some other things that I I touch on very briefly in this video that I'm not gonna get into until I do my convention video about Friday Saturday Sunday at the convention and all that good stuff all right let's talk about the Godzilla stores we'll pick up where I left off in the last vlog on Friday I wake up nice and early and head down to the Godzilla store well actually we head down to the convention it's our first time going to the convention it's at like 10 in the morning or so somewhere around then we enter and already I know Godzilla store that's the focus that's what I'm here to see because I was under the impression that the Godzilla actually Actors weren't gonna get there till like 3 p.m. so I didn't think they were gonna be there so it's like mm, gotta go straight to the Godzilla store and I know it's on the far right when you walk in the convention hall so let's just walk in ignore everything else head straight to the far back go way back to the Godzilla store and that'll be what we do what are we going to see? the uh, first actually it's not the first but it's kind of the first Godzilla store to come out of Japan is here at the convention in Houston it was supposed to be the first and then all of a sudden they just decided to start popping them up all over the country it's like a moving store now so just kind of touring the country at the moment I don't know what they're gonna have there and that's what we did we went straight back to the Godzilla store walking into the convention was quite amazing because there's there's just so many people there it's so big way bigger than I thought it was gonna be and there's just so many people there we make it to the store and I recognize the guy giving the announcements I stand there for a minute because I've never seen him in person so I was like mm, is this actually who I think it is so I stand there and kind of look at him for a little bit when he's giving his announcement about how the store works and and then I go, you know, it probably is him, but he's working. So I'm going to head back to the line and then we'll talk to him later. It is Chris. If you don't know Chris, he is Jaws man on YouTube. So make sure you check him out. But yeah, he was working the Godzilla store. So we head over and I know he's working the Godzilla store. Him and I have talked about it. So I head over there and that's when I see him. And so it was pretty cool. So I head to the back of the line so that, you know, I can wait to get in because I'm not going to cut the line. I don't have that big of an ego. All right. So I'm heading to the back of the line and <laughs> immediately I get recognized by AJ. Shout out to AJ. Hey, man. What's up? Hey. I don't know if you know me, but I'm AJ Brown. I um, messaged you earlier on YouTube on your past Godzilla video when you said you're going to come here. I, I don't remember the name, but I probably remember the profile picture. Yeah, it was Jason Voorhees. So good to see you here. Oh, well, it's my, good to see you too. My favorite YouTube. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're in the video now too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, it's cool seeing you man. And this kicks off the trend of every time I'm near the Godzilla store, someone recognizes me. It was so overwhelming for me. It's like, I can't imagine what G-Fest is going to be like because it was just already, you know, I'm like socially awkward around people who know me from YouTube. I can talk to people. I'm not like socially awkward around people, but I'm socially awkward when I'm like not expecting to be known, you know, I don't know. It catches me off guard. And so I find it to be just kind of overwhelming. And so I don't know how to respond to the situation. It's not like I don't know how to speak to people. I speak for a living. This is my job. I do it for a living. I talk to people. I can talk to people. All right. I'm not that bad. I will talk more about all the people that I met at the Godzilla store when I do the convention video, but I wanted to give AJ a special shout out because he was the first person who noticed me and he noticed me right away when I was heading to the back of the line. So that's pretty sweet. You know, me and my dad, we wait in the line for like 45 minutes. It's a grueling wait, but we are waiting next to this awesome banner. The way the Godzilla store was laid out, they had these two walls kind of, they're like tarp walls. I don't know. They had these two walls. One of them just said like Godzilla 
closed store Tokyo. The other one was a big Godzilla banner showing Godzilla breathing the atomic breath. Really cool. So we got to wait next to that, which is like, there's worse things to wait next to than an awesome picture of Godzilla. So we're waiting in line forever. I meet Mark in the process. He brought a car to the convention. Again, we will talk more about that when I do the convention video. We make it to the store. It's my first time checking it out. I have met Chris by this point as well. He ran to the back of the line once he knew I was there. So I've met Chris by this point as well. And that kicks off my introduction to the Godzilla store. Oh, oh shoot. Around. Well, here we got Shin Godzilla. I don't know what to say about it. We're walking into it. I see you got the concept arts for all the uh, cool 90s Godzilla movies. I don't think they had anything but the 90s stuff there. It seemed like a lot of 90s stuff. They had the 90s concept arts there. They had the suit for Kiryu, the actual screen used suit for Kiryu. They had a really cool Godzilla statue made of stone. And then the walls were awesome. They were all the posters for all these different Godzilla movies. And they had this other set of posters for the Showa era movies. It was awesome. All right, what do we have here? So it looks like we have a nice poster line up here. Okay, it looks like we have Son of Godzilla, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, Mothraverse Godzilla, Mechagodzilla 74, Destroy All Monsters, Godzilla 84, Final Wars, Mechagirez, and then Violante. I really wish those were for sale, but they're not. The owner of the convention swings by before I make it into the merchandise area. He swings by and it's pretty hilarious. You know, we get there and they have all these rules. Like you're not allowed to touch anything. You're just allowed to look. You can't even touch the merchandise. You have these clipboards. You have to write on the clipboards what you want. You'll go turn it in basically. And then they'll get you the products. You don't touch anything. You're not allowed to touch anything. And they made a big deal. Like do not touch Kiryu. Do not touch Godzilla. Leave them alone. Owner of the convention swings by and he has me point out on the Kiryu next so I get to touch the neck of Kiryu has me point out where the suit actor saw from because you can see it when you look at the neck of Kiryu you can see these slits in the neck of where the suit actor saw out of also by the way apparently the suit actor for Kiryu is like a real short dude like 5'3 is the max capacity for that suit you can't fit anyone bigger than that in there so there's no way I'm getting in Kiryu I'm just too big have you actually checked it out did you mess with it I didn't I mean, you know I mean that that moves they, when I, so when I saw it, I mean, they put it on this moving thing for us, so it's easier to move around, but we can, you know, you can take it out. <laughs> Get in the back. It's the exact one from the movie. They clean it up a little bit. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. But it's pretty funny. So they have me touch the neck of Kiryu. And then I asked, is the Godzilla heavy? You know, is that big stone Godzilla heavy? And his response is, pick it up. So they're like, do not touch anything. You're not allowed to touch anything. The owner of the convention swings over. He's like, hey, pick up Godzilla. <laughs> Go touch him. Go actually pick him up. Try and lift him. Yeah, <laughs> it's decent. It's, it, it's heavy. It's pretty heavy. I mean, it's not that heavy, so the tail comes off. Okay, yeah. And, you know, this comes off, and two people could lift this up. And you need So you need three people if you want to move this. One person with the tail, and two, two people with the body. <laughs> I mean, you could lift it up. Right? It's heavy, but... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they said they're trying to uh, trying to figure out if they want to make these for sale or not. I imagine those would be quite expensive. I imagine that too. <laughs> yeah. All right, I, I'll let you guys, you know, look around, have fun. It wouldn't have mattered if he said I could touch Godzilla or not, because I'd already touched him by that point on accident. I headbutted Godzilla when I was walking backwards and turned around, and I turned right into Godzilla's face. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll tell you what, headbutting a big stone monster doesn't feel good. It really hurts. So we go into the Godzilla store. We check out all the merch. They have so many incredible things. I can't stress enough how cool this whole thing was. The Godzilla store was just awesome. It's so many cool things there. I got to meet a whole bunch of cool people while I was in the store. I got to meet a Mothra cosplayer. Her name's Brooke. I have her Instagram link down below. She was really nice. Did an interview with her, which will go up in the convention video. I bought some stuff. It was pretty sweet. And that was it. You know, that was all I got for the day. How's it going? Good. There's a lot. Do you guys actually look at the underwear over there? No, I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to grab him. Uh, Mothra and Rodan. So I hate that Rodan. Yeah, I, <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> I'm definitely going to get that Godzilla and Ghidorah, though. Of course. I have a question. How tall are you? 6'2". 6'2". 
6'2". It was like, when I first saw it, I was like, holy cow, like, it was very overwhelming. <laughs> I headed on out, left for the day, kind of. I mean, I swung by the Godzilla store constantly, but that was like the big thing I did at the Godzilla store was I went there first thing and then I found out, oh, the suit actors are here or that <laughs> the suit actors, the motion capture actors, they are here. So I went and talked to them, but that's for a different video. Anyways, I swing by the Godzilla store constantly. I mean, it's kind of like my second home while I'm there. I was swinging by that store nonstop because it was just awesome. It's so much cool stuff there. And plus, I always kept going over to talk to Chris because it was someone I knew. I had known him from beforehand. So it was kind of cool to go and talk to him because I knew him. So, you know, it's like we're there at the Godzilla store, but I get to hang out with a friend. So it's sweet. Saturday's the same deal. I'm just swinging by the Godzilla store constantly. Don't do much there on Saturday. Saturday night, I get a call and they are like, hey, you want to come over to the Godzilla store early in the morning so you can have special access to it to get some footage? And of course, I'm like, yes, yes, please. But that's all for the more official video I'm doing on the Godzilla store. So for this one, all I'll say is I got into the Godzilla store before the convention opened. So I was one of the only ones there aside from the workers. I was the only one there aside from the workers. Get to swing by the Godzilla store, check everything out. Again, incredible merchandise. They just have all sorts of awesome stuff, which was selling out right away. The Godzilla store was crazy popular. I'm in the first third of the line. I know it looks like when you see the footage, I'm in the very far back of the line. That line was massive. That line grew so much so fast. I got there fairly early and the line wound up being so much bigger than we got footage of. The store was really popular. It was one of the most popular, if not the most popular thing there that I saw. Aside from the K-pop concerts, I think they had K-pop concerts. Aside from that, Godzilla store was the most popular thing there. And the merch sold out so fast. I was, once again, within the first third of people to get into the store on that first like few hours it was open. So I was within the first group of people who ever got to step foot inside that store to buy stuff. And they were already sold out of a lot. They had already sold out so many different things. So I swing by on Sunday. They're sold out of like everything, but I get to see all the merchandise because they still have it on display. So I get to see all the display merchandise, get footage of all that, get footage of the concept art, get footage of the walls, get awesome footage of the suit and the statue. The suit, I will say, Kiryu's suit. One of the coolest details that you don't notice in the film is when Kiryu opens his mouth, they're the original Godzilla's teeth. Kiryu is built around the bones of the original Godzilla. It's still his teeth. You can see the bones on top of the roof of the mouth. You can see that the bones are just built into the suit. They went through that detail to put that in there. I think it's incredible. Great work that you're never going to see in the movie. It's a great little detail that you really appreciate when you get to see the thing in person and you don't get to appreciate that when you just see it in the film. Also, the fact that they make that suit look so metallic in the movie is incredibly impressive because seeing it in person, it is just like obviously not metal. So I don't know how they do it, but they have an incredible team over there at Toho Studios to pull that off. So again, I get there early on Sunday, film some fun stuff, and then that's pretty much it for the day. I head on out. And that does it for the Godzilla store. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. D-Man out.